Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will study about quarks. In previous video, uh, I gave an introduction about the elementary particles and what are the quantum numbers associated with them. In this video, we will do the quarks. Now, quarks are the building blocks of particles. Quarks are simply the elementary particles like leptons which do not have an uh, internal structure but they have uh, fractional charges and these quarks have positive or negative charge equal to fraction of an electric charge. What we mean by uh, fraction of an electric charge is that for example if we have uh, the electric charge E. So, uh, the quarks will have fraction of this charge. For example, they may have 2 by 3 of E minus 2 by 3 of E. So, quarks have charges of uh, this type 2 by 3 E minus 2 by 3 E or they may have 1 by 3 E. So, each quark has positive or negative charge equal to fraction of an electric charge. And there are 6 types of quarks. Earlier only three types of quarks were known which were up quark which is denoted by U, down quark which is denoted by D and strange quark which is denoted by S. So earlier only these type of uh, these three uh, quarks were known. After that three more quarks came into view which were charm denoted by C, bottom denoted by B and top which is denoted by T. Now the U, U quark, C quark and T quark they have positive charges of 2 by 3 E. They all have positive charges of 2 by 3 E and the other three charges, other three quarks bottom quark, strange quark and down quark they have uh, charges of 1 by 3 e minus 1 by 3 e and the anti quarks of these quarks have opposite charge for that is uh, the anti quark of up quark is denoted by u bar and its charge is minus 2 by 3 e the up quark has charge plus 2 by 2 by 3 e and this anti quark has the opposite sign of the charge so it will have minus 2 by 3 e similarly anti quark of charm quark will be uh, will have uh, minus 2 by 3 e charge anti quark of top quark will have minus 2 by 3 e charge similarly the anti quark of bottom strange and da down quark they all will have charge of plus 1 by 3 e the quarks bottom quark strange quark and down quark have minus 1 by 3 e charge and the anti quark will have opposite charge that is plus 1 by 3 e now each quark has baryon number b equal to 1 by 3 this is for the quark and each anti quark has baryon number minus 1 by 3 and since each baryon each baryon is made up of three quarks so baryon number of a baryon will be equal to 3 into baryon number that is 1 so each baryon will have baryon number equal to 1 now a meson a meson is made up of one quark and one anti quark so the baryon number of meson will be b equal to 1 by 3 plus minus 1 by 3 since baryon number of an anti quark is minus 1 by 3 and baryon number of a quark is 1 by 3 so meson for meson baryon number will be 1 by 3 plus minus 1 by 3 this will be equal to 0 now only two quarks that is up quark and down quark they have isospin only up quark and down quark have isospin and strange quark has strangeness s equal to minus 1 and its anti quark 
एस बार हैज स्ट्रेंजनेस इक्वल टू प्लस वन सो अप क्वाक एंड डाउन क्वाक हैव आइसोस्पिन स्ट्रेंज क्वाक है स्ट्रेंजनेस एस इक्वल टू माइनस वन एंड द एंटी क्वाक ऑफ स्ट्रेंज क्वाक हैज स्ट्रेंजनेस इक्वल टू प्लस वन एंड ओनली चाम क्वाक हैज चामनेस सी इक्वल टू प्लस वन Now we will see the quantum numbers of quarks. Here I have mentioned the quarks. Second column is for charge, then strangeness, charmness, and baryon number. Now, as I have earlier told you that you uh, up quark, charm, top, they all have charges plus two e by three. Strange bottom and down quark has charges minus e by three. Now only strange quark has strangeness equal to Minus one. Others will have zero strangeness. Charm quark has charmness equal to plus one. Others will have zero charmness. And baryon number for every quark is one by three. Now we will see the formation of hadrons. For this, we need uh, the quarks U, B, S, U bar, B bar, and S bar. So first we will see the so first we will see the pi positive hadron for this we need two uh, one quark u and the anti quark of down quark that is d bar now for this baryon number will be 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 equal to 0 1 by 3 for up quark and uh, for this anti uh, down quark we have baryon number minus 1 by 3 so the baryon number of pi a plus will be equal to 0 now charge will be charge for u is plus 2 by 3 e and for d bar it will be plus 1 by 3 e which is will be equal to plus 1 Now spin of up quark will be up spin, and for the anti quark it will be uh, downward. So the total spin will be equal to zero. And strangeness, or uh, since there is no uh, strange quark in this, so strangeness will be equal to zero. Similarly, for k uh, k on positive k plus hadron, we have baryon number one by three for up quark and minus one by three for uh, anti quark. Uh, anti quark or strange quark so it will be equal to 0 and the charge will be plus 2 by 3e and plus 1 by 3e which will be equal to 1 and its spin will again equal to 0 since there is one uh, strange anti quark or strange quark and we know that strangeness of anti quark uh, anti quark or strange quark is equal to plus 1 so the strangeness will be equal to 0 For up quark and plus one for uh, this s bar, it will be equal to plus one. Now in this we have two up quarks, so uh, the baryon number will be equal to one by three plus one by three. And since it is a down quark, so the baryon number will be one by three for this also. And total baryon number will be equal to plus one. And charge will be equal to to plus two by three plus two by three. And minus one by three e equal to plus one, and spin will be equal to for up quark the spin is up, and for down quark spin is down, so it will be equal to one by two, and strangeness will be equal to zero. Now for this we have baryon number equal to plus one, and charge will be equal to zero, and spin will be equal to one by two, and the strangeness will be equal to zero. For this since there are three Strange quarks. So we will have strangeness equal to minus one, minus one, minus one equal to minus three because strangeness for strange quark s is equal to minus one. Now baryon number of uh, strange uh, three strange quarks will be equal to plus one. Charge will be equal to minus one by three, minus one by three, minus one by three e equal to minus one. So spin is up spin. For all these uh, strange quarks, the total spin will be equal to three by two. Now uh, a problem arose for same particle having spin one by two. Uh, that uh, the problem was that it may have two or three quarks of same nature. 
Now to avoid violation of Pauli's exclusion principle, an additional property of color was introduced. It was said that the quarks and antiquarks have six different ways uh, rather than two ways, two ways of plus charge or negative charge. So there came six different ways of identifying the, uh, of uh, explaining the uh, quarks. It was assumed that there were red, blue and green color for quarks and anti-red, anti-blue and anti-green for anti-quarks. Now, uh, therefore, we could say that baryon have three quarks all having different colors. This satisfied the exclusion principle. It was assumed that baryons have three quarks which have different colors and therefore the exclusion principle was satisfied. And the meson, meson is made up of one quark and one antiquark of uh, one color of quark and the anti-color of the antiquark. So meson is always colorless. Since there was a quark and for example if we assume that it, it is of red color then anti-quark will have anti-red. So the meson on the whole is colorless. This is only the assumption. I am giving the example for this. Um, in addition to color other property charmness was also included as we have already explained that charmness was also included to the quark model in addition to the property of color which I have already explained you. Now quark model successfully explains many properties of elementary particles. We used quark model. It was used to explain the properties of elementary particles and we can explain eightfold symmetry of quarks that we will uh, study in some other video. Uh, a quark was uh, quark was quark model was uh, enabled to explain the eightfold symmetry of quarks and some properties of elementary particles. Since quarks have not been experimentally detected, so they may not exist as independent entities. Only the quark is only a theoretical model; it is not experimentally detected. So in this video, we will do till here. In some other video, we will uh, explain the eightfold uh, way, eightfold symmetry of quarks. If you like the video, please uh, share it and subscribe the channel. Thank you.